Hey, I'm Owen Luke and this is my channel, Owen Says Go. Today I'm doing a video I've wanted to do for a long time, which is top 10 things to do in Wanganui. I'm in the Wanganui River right now, which is probably the number one feature in this town. It's something you gotta come and check out. And if it's a beautiful day like today, you gotta go for a swim too. Okay, we've just grabbed ourselves a couple of bikes from the dairy here. Let's head out. Heading across the river into town to find something to snack on. Just the other side of the river is the burrow, which is one of our favorite places in Wanganui to get a pastry. So this morning I've gone for the uh, custard almond. Also trying these uh, praline fingers, which are really good. And a classic uh, pano chocolat. Oh, still warm. <laughs> It's about a 10k cycle from town to the bridge. And there's the bridge. This is so cool, it's like a little sandy beach. Man, it's a beautiful day on the river. Feels good! Ooh. Oh, it gets deep fast. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Whew. Man, that's a deep river. <laughs> I can't touch the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it gets deep straight away. After getting sweaty again on the ride back into town, we cooled down with a real fruit ice cream on the riverbank at the Riverland Family Park. Swimming isn't the only way to get into the Wanganui River. You can also take the lazy route. One of the best ways to experience the Wanganui River is on board the Wai Murie. It's a hundred year old paddle steamer and the last coal powered paddle steamer in New Zealand. It actually sunk in the Wanganui River and was uh, recovered and uh, refurnished over a period of several years and it now sails up and down the river and it's a great way to get wonderful views of the river and experience what travel was like in years gone by. One of my top 10 things to do in Wanganui, go for a paddle on the Waimuri One tradition on board is the release mid-journey of two homing pigeons that carry messages from the kids on board back to the boat's mooring point. Perfect place to stay when exploring the river is this Iona tiny boathouse. You're right next to the river, just behind me, and comes with its own hot tub. Ah, oh, how cute is this? Wow. Ooh, and they've gifted us a couple of uh, Roots beers. That's uh, one of Wanganui's local breweries. Got a very comfortable looking bed. <laughs> Very neat. Very cool. Cheers. Perfect way to end the day is in the hot tub with a drink in hand. Cheers.
It's a short walk from where we're staying at uh, the Iona Tiny Boat to the Dury Hill Elevator, which is one of the top 10 things to do in Wanganui. It is one of the only elevators in the world servicing a hilltop suburb within a city. Oh wow, and it's long. So regular commuters who, who live up on Jury Hill use this every day and so they click, click, click. Yes. We are going up 66 metres, it's going to take 55 seconds. <laughs> the most it's ever taken is 5 hours. That was in 1976 when it made it halfway wow. and then stopped. <laughs> but they did get fish and chips lowered down to them, so oh. it, wasn't, it wasn't all bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That was a great trip. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's lovely. Yeah. At the top of the elevator, there's a tower you can take a walk up and get fantastic views of the whole town. Adjacent to the elevator tower is the Dury Hill War Memorial dedicated to the 500 local people who died fighting in World War I. It's made of shell rock from a nearby quarry and is 33 meters tall, giving views as far as Mount Taranaki, Ruapehu, and even the South Island on a clear day. If you're looking for a good spot for a picnic or somewhere to take a stroll, you could come up here to Virginia Lake in St. John's Hill. It's a beautiful park. It's got some lovely lawns, big mature trees, uh, the, the lake and uh, its fountain, lots of water birds that you can enjoy watching. And you can also check out the Winter Gardens, which is a sort of conservatory area. That's very pretty. And there's a cafe. So Virginia Lake in St. John's Hill definitely one of my top 10 things to do in Wanganui. One of my top 10 things to do in Wanganui is definitely the River Traders Market. You gotta get down here, it's on Saturday mornings, there's a lot of cool stuff to eat, nice crafts to buy, and great people watching, dog watching. It's a perfect place to spend the morning. Some of my favorite things to buy at the River Traders Market are the fresh fruits and vegetables from small-scale local farmers, as well as the great meat from Chef's Choice. I love to eat the wood-fired pizza, bestowed Kai sandwiches, sour bros bread, and from the delicious Asian food stalls. From the market, you can easily take part in one of my other top 10 attractions, a walking tour of Wanganui's impressive murals and wall art that are scattered across the city. Wanganui has a variety of beautiful gardens on offer, including this one, the Paloma Gardens, which you will find about 20 kilometers outside of Wanganui. It's a privately owned garden with a $10 fee to get in, but it's well worth the entry cost because it's full of beautiful sites, including this bamboo garden, there's a poison garden, there are pottery exhibitions, and all kinds of nooks and crannies of overgrown plants that have been here getting bigger and bigger since the 1980s when this garden was established. Check out the Paloma Gardens. It's one of my top 10 things to do in Wanganui.
Next up on my list of top 10 things to do in Wanganui is a visit to Bushy Park. Bushy Park is a beautiful 80 hectare, fully predator fenced nature reserve. It's a 20 minute drive outside of Wanganui, but it's well worth the little drive out there because you'll get to see some incredible forest and a lot of bird life that you won't see anywhere else near here. Let's head over there and take a look. One of the top 10 things to do in Wanganui is to come down to Kai Iwi Beach. It's got spectacular black sand, beautiful waves and amazing sandstone cliffs. It's definitely one of my favorite places to visit here and a must do when you're in town. Okay, the last of my top 10 Wanganui attractions is the Drews Avenue area, which features fantastic cafes, beautiful buildings, the New Zealand glassworks, multiple murals, and a recent streetscape project that has added communal seating, gardens, and quirky touches like a marble run and outdoor musical instruments to the street. It's also home to Porridge Watson, the best damn bar in Wanganui and possibly the whole of New Zealand. A second home to many, it hosts live music, comedy, karaoke and pub quizzes and has the friendliest staff around. If you've enjoyed this video, please support the channel by giving a thumbs up, sharing, subscribing and telling your friends. I've got lots more videos of things to do all over New Zealand, so be sure to take a look. Owen says go to Wanganui.